Good evening and welcome to News Tonight. My name is Kemeni Amano. Over the next 60 minutes, we'll bring you some insightful news stories here. First, let's start on the farms, where many farmers in rural Accra are gradually being deprived of their income as they continue to lose their farmlands to investors and real estate firms. Although many farmers in Ghana's capital region are getting frustrated, there are some who have no choice but to farm on their little pieces of land, especially when it's their only source of income. Now that is the story of old Daniel Efiogbe, who crawls on his buttocks daily to his farm due to his disability. This has not deterred him from making a living in Manchi, a rural community in the greater Accra region. This is how the day begins for old Daniel Efiogbe who could not tell us his age because he is uneducated and has no document to help him trace his age. He has chosen to take his neighbor's word for it when they say he is 70 years. Daniel has been living alone in this hut in Manchi, in the Gasouth municipality, after losing his wife some years back. His two sons have left the shores of Ghana and are struggling to make ends meet in neighboring Ivory Coast. Old Daniel has been farming all his life, yet has nothing to show for his hard work. This little piece of farmland and another smaller cassava farm are all that he has left. He clears weeds and unwanted plants that have taken over to make way for maize planting. Amazed by how fast he weeds, dragging his bat around on the ground and clearing the weeds with his bare hands, I asked whether he feels safe. The old man tells me although he does not, he has no choice than to do this daily to get food on his table. Relying on rainfall as the only form of irrigation means unpredictable yield, but even on days that the rains have been favorable, pests frequently destroy his farm produce. Even if he is able to harvest a reasonable quantity of farm produce, he encounters another challenge of transporting foodstuff to the market. After toiling to grow and harvest his maize and cassava, he only gets to enjoy just a little of the fruit of his hard labor as his neighbors buy on credit and sometimes do not pay back. <laughs> Going back home after farming in the afternoon is a struggle since that is the time many cars ply the route where his farm lies. Farming in Manchi and adjoining towns has become unattractive as commercial activities and real estate developers take over farmlands. Most people have therefore turned their attention to fields such as carpentry, masonry, and other vocational fields. However, for persons like old Daniel who cannot do any other thing apart from farming, their plea 
is to get some assistance to aid in making their work comfortable and rewarding. Old Daniel would have loved to end his farming career to go into trading because of the challenges he faced, but says he has no support to make that happen. His plea now is to get a wheelchair to help him move around comfortably and safely. Alice Aite, GH1 News. Now that is the story we brought to you exactly a week ago and already it has got some results. The VOC initiative, a non-governmental organization that seeks to empower people to help in national development has donated a wheelchair and a few assorted items to help uh, the farmer with disability move around more freely. Alice Aite was there with them. Many farmers in rural Accra are gradually being deprived of their income as they continue to lose their farmlands to real estate developers and other investors. Although many farmers in Ghana's capital region are getting frustrated, there are some who have no choice but to continue to farm on their little pieces of land, especially when it is their only source of income. The VOC initiative was touched by the story of old Daniel and decided to pay him a visit and to get him some relief. The executives of the NGO donated a wheelchair and some items to the old man to allow him move freely to and from his farm and other places. <laughs> After presenting the wheelchair and the other items, the leader of the organization, Speaker Charles Addo, called on other organizations and individuals to lend arms to people in need when the need arises. We stand for development. So anything that is beyond or under development, we try to bring it to the development level, whether human capital, whether materials, anything that puts smiles on the faces of other people, that is what we are in for to develop. Immediately we saw the news item, we were like, listen, we didn't have to decide. We were just like, we're going to get him a wheelchair so that it will support his movement. The project coordinator of the VOC initiative, Margaret Foley, who is also a physiotherapist at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital, explained that the wheelchair is what the disabled farmer needs as crawling on the floor rather does harm to other parts of his body. For now, his need is to learn how to transfer in and out of the wheelchair, which we taught him, and this is going to aid his movement around. We, the, the, act, the way he was moving initially is not the best. He's going to have a toll on his waist, his back and the arms. But at least this one with the wheelchair, he's, able to, he's going to be able to move around more easily as compared to before. Excited old Daniel Fiogbe showered praise on the VOC initiative team and GH1 TV for the kind gesture. <laughs> However, like Oliver Twist, he requested for monetary support to help him start a new trade and stop farming as his condition makes it difficult to farm. Alice Aite, GH1 News. Well, we are grateful to the VOC initiative. We'll turn attention to other uh, stories now and that will be coming up in Insight.